Hi, I'm Edward. Um, I'm a senior at UCSB. My major is physics, but I'm applying for applied math, for PhD in applied math from grad school. So today I'm going to talk about the world, math, and me. And so to, to talk about that, first of all, I'll talk about in general how we perceive information. Second of all, the rule of mathematics in the field of study, in the field of knowledge. And third, my rule in mathematics. So first of all, let's start with a really simple example. Well, obviously, these three objects are different. But at the same time, if we think about color, the two on the left are the same. Shape, the two on the right are the same. So in certain dimension, they are the same, but in other dimension, they are not. And that is how we perceive information. When we see a door, we don't mean the size has to be a certain size, but the shape, the, the feature is the same. So let's think about another example. More, and that will illustrate how the real world relates to physics and relates to math. So first of all, think about a potato. You throw it up in the air, it rotates and falls down. The motion is rather complicated. If you think about a potato, you, you observe it, and because there's infinite many potatoes in the world, in the world, you can't just try an arrow. So then we go to physics, we say, well, we can approximate a potato with a you know, elliptical or spherical object. But th that's still not good enough because there are so many shapes. There's cubic, there's rectangle, and there will be triangular or a pyramid, and there will be so many shapes. So then we go to mathematics. We think about object in terms of inertial tensor, a 3 by 3 matrix. And now everything becomes so abstract, but becomes so beautiful, so similar in this dimension, because everything is like 3 by 3 matrix, just with different entries. And we're really familiar with numbers and things. So then we can generalize it, and we can go back, back to physics, and now we can do any, not potato, apples, orange, anything. So now, let's put those relations to the world. So real to physics, I'll use the word simplify. It's just like simplifying the potato into a elliptical object. And now math, this is the important part. I'll use the word translate, because I think math is a really beautiful language perspective. And, and math, because math is so flexible that you can generalize the concept in that. After generalization, you can apply it to as many things as you want. Now you specialize. Now you go back. Whether you want apple, orange, banana, you specialize in the physics. And now you apply to real world, like how can I throw a banana? How can that benefit me? That's a realization. So now this is the picture and this is how they relate it, how math is important in our life. And now I talk about me. Okay. My me as a undergrad in major in physics, I learn a lot in this area. Simplification, specialization. And those are very important things. But I'm very interested in this two part as well. And with those two parts, I can actually complete the circle. I can take a problem from real life, solve it, put it back. And this is very powerful, and I, I enjoy this process. And also, I'm really, I really, especially this part, I appreciate this generalization. This is what I want to learn. This is what I want to learn. What I want to learn as a PhD in math. Second of all, I'm really honest, I'm really assumption free. For example, you have two point A to B, and you you have some rock, some obstacle in between. How can you get from A to B? Our goal is from A to B. Well, there's you can penetrate it, which is not easy, of course. You can go around it, but it takes extra work. So what? That that doesn't seem that is not beautiful. That is not efficient. So what is the best way? Well, you think about it. The problem doesn't say you have to stay on the board. You know. If you can think about the dimension that is from the board, you can go from A outside a little bit, going back, go to B. It's elegant, it's efficient. That is math. I think that is math. And I think the beauty of math is unique. And this kind of, I would call it creativity, comes from the flexibility in math. And also comes from I, myself, I have, I'm really free-minded, I'm open-minded. I don't, I don't think 
I have to be in a box. I'm outside the box. I don't limit myself. Okay, so lastly, I'm talking about my interests. I'm interested in neuroscience, I'm interested in statistics, I'm interested in nonlinear dynamics because all of them, the common thing of all of them is they represent how we think about the world, how we process our information, our knowledge, and how we apply to the real world. I think those are very interesting and also very beneficial to humanity. Thank you for listening. I'm Edward.